Todd Archer, our Cowboys reporter, tweeting that Dak is expected to have surgery and miss six to eight weeks. He will meet with the team's hand specialist today. Sources say he'll have a pin and a plate inserted to stabilize the joint. So that is the news on Dak and Dallas. Rex Ryan, what does it mean? Season's over for Dallas. Mm. That's what it means. And they're not, you know, the coach is going to go in there. He's going to spin it a way different way. But to me, you lose your best player, Dak Prescott, on offense. There's no way in hell. Look, it, it was a struggle anyway. Mm -hmm. The pass protection, the lack of weapons. And now you lose Dak Prescott? Nah, I'm done. RC, what do you think? <laughs> the season was over before Dak Prescott hey. got hurt. Listen, one of my kids' favorite movies is The Cat in the Hat. And the cat in the hat ruins this dress. And this girl's like, you ruined mom's dress. And he was like, it was ruined when she bought it, honey. <laughs> and that's exactly what was going on with the Dallas Cowboys <laughs> last night. You know, there was a little semblance of a run game, but they couldn't get separation in the pass game. CeeDee Lamb didn't look like a number one receiver. And that run defense was porous. Other than Michael Parsons making some plays and Trayvon Diggs being who he was, you didn't see a lot of this from this team that gave you life if you were the Dallas Cowboys. We knew they would struggle with some things coming into the season, and I feel like everything we felt they'd struggle with offensively, we saw a little bit of that last night. Oh, by the way, they committed 10 penalties last oh, night. That'll that's, get that's, who they, that's who they are. Yeah, the, the Dallas Cowboys are who we thought they were. They're on pace for 170 penalties this year. Dan, <laughs> but let's, let, let's, let's focus on Dak for a minute, because everything is obviously obscured by that. What? Trade for Tyler Huntley. If, that, if I was the Dallas Cowboys, that would be the phone call I would make. It would not be to San Francisco for Jimmy Garoppolo. I would call Baltimore and trade for Tyler Huntley. I totally agree. If they don't make a move, their season is over. But their upcoming schedule is not awful. Mm -hmm. This is not a division right. that is absolutely loaded, nor a conference that is incredibly high-end. Tyler Huntley's a player that has proven to be a pretty good talent. Mm -hmm. This is What games do we sit here and say they got no shot in? Maybe at Rams? We watched Green Bay yesterday play poorly. Mm -hmm. The Eagles' defense didn't look awesome against the Lions. So, Tyler Huntley's a player that's had some good moments. Yeah. RC, I agree with you. The offensive line could not protect. He's mobile enough to cover that up. Mm -hmm. They ain't got weapons. Well, they're going to have to uh, kind of um, maneuver their offense yeah. schematically to make it work. Sure. Here's the reality. If the Cowboys don't make a move, or at least try to, <laughs> legitimately, everybody in the organization is going, we're done. Mm -hmm. Hey, Micah Parsons, don't matter. Yep. Hey, Marcus Lawrence, don't matter. C.D. Lamb, don't matter. We're done. If they do, they got a chance to save the season. But it ain't going to be with Cooper Rush. Huntley but it ain't going to be it? with Huntley either. No. Because, why not? no, hell no. Baltimore because, don't give him up. No, the, the number one, the future of your – there are two reasons why. Okay. The future of your football team has Dak Prescott at quarterback, mm -hmm. not anybody else. Okay? That's num number one. You think Baltimore is going to give up, uh, uh, I mean, a guy that – could be the future of their football team down the road. No chance. What, but at and, what, point, and what are you going to? You're going to mortgage your future to get a backup quarterback because so, it's going to it's going to cost you at least two first round picks. It ain't going to happen. I, I'm not aware of what it what it's going to cost them. I don't uh, think it costs you two first round oh. picks. And I get your Baltimore point, but here's the the, the grim reality. This is the second injury that's going to take a chunk of season time yeah. away from Dak Prescott in three years. Mm -hmm. So at at some point, the Cowboys organization has to look at it as a whole and say, dang. Our starter's been down two out of the last three years. We have to do something to somewhat try to save this season because we'll send a message to okay. our locker room that we don't care. Yeah. And we got to start to prepare to have a better situation for the future. But That's a, the second one is more important to me, though. Have a better situation for the future. So uh, we, want, we aren't sitting here Monday morning when Dak Prescott gets hurt and say that there's no way that they can win. Even with seeing what Cooper Rush was able to do last year against Minnesota, right. you're not expecting that week in and week out. Not with this roster. Especially with the deficiencies right. on this right. offense exactly. already. Exactly. They do have to make a move, and Jerry has to be aggressive in making a move so the locker room knows he believes in this roster as long as they have somebody exactly. that can play quarterback. Exactly. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.